Taurus, welcome to your Just In Time Tarot reading. If you're watching this Taurus, trust there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back Taurus. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bronya. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Just to let you know, sometimes the whole message is going to resonate really powerfully. It's going to feel like a personal reading. And whilst that is super cool, it's not always the case. Sometimes it will just be pieces that resonate, but Definitely don't underestimate those because that can be just the thing that you need to hear. Sometimes none of it will resonate. That is okay as well. Just leave it for somebody that it does. Now, the first card out is liminal space. Okay, so it's almost like a blank slate or a bit of a void here. Anything is possible. This could be where you're feeling at the moment, like in the space in between, right? Maybe you're between cycles, between relationships, between jobs, or just a feeling that you're wanting change. But at the moment, it's kind of like you are in that void of the new door hasn't quite opened up yet. So interesting energy. Like sometimes this can be a little bit of a dark night of the soul as well, where, you know, we might feel that we're not getting the, you know, angel numbers or we're not feeling like we're connected to our intuition or guides. And if so, that is usually a sign to rest, just to be okay with that and actually to surrender and soften into it. Okay, let's draw you a major arcana. Uh, just to let you know what decks I am uh, using today. I have the Child of the Universe Oracle. This is the Mystic Dreams Advanced Tarot and the Lucid Dreams uh, Beginners Tarot. I will link those down below. Um, they are all from Sincelil, so they are beautiful tarot decks. Okay, we have got the moon. Okay. The moon is a deeply intuitive energy, but it does talk about coming out of the darkness, right? It's like that first kind of shard of light that starts illuminating your next path. So I feel that you're right on the kind of on the threshold of coming out of a time where there's nothing really happening. You're not sure of your next move or waiting for that door to open. So that is the moon here. It can talk about uh, hidden blessings coming in, all will be revealed type energy. So let's keep going and see what that may mean for you. Okay, Taurus, I will go to the full tarot deck now. Okay, liminal space, the moon, and we have the page of swords. Yeah, you know how we talked about that first shard of light coming in? That is the page of swords. It's usually associated with a shift, right? Like a shift of direction, like a shift of energy, a breath of fresh air coming in. We've lost the candle, sorry, but uh, um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> it was just right at its end. So the page of swords can be a communication or a conversation or, you know, uh, an insight that comes in that starts to plant the seed of the new direction of the new idea. So most definitely be paying attention to who you meet, the conversations that you have, and don't discredit them. Because sometimes it can be just a really, you know, small, um, you know, a small uh, conversation or shift that has a really big impact. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, the Ace of Swords, exactly, small to big. Uh, a small change leading to a huge victory. That is the Ace of Swords, epiphany, breakthrough, clarity, light, cutting your way out of this liminal space, right? So that is a beautiful energy of a new beginning. That is the new door opening. Um, and it's often associated with, yeah, finding the truth, the clarity, you know, and really sort of feeling confident in, in where you're heading, Taurus. And we've got the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands for me is always a, a long period of struggle or darkness. So this liminal space or this void could have been going on for nine months, nine years for many of you. You know, if you think back, you know, think back in those time frames. You know, what were you doing then? What's been happening since then? So this is a real energy of, you know, feeling a bit like the wounded warrior. Like you, you have been trying, you've been pushing, you know, maybe there were important growth lessons for you to learn on that journey. You know, maybe this is the time that things shift. So we have you coming out of a really tough time. Um, and it might have been a, a single situation or it could have just been life across the board that you feel like you've been challenged. 
uh, across the last nine years and then the breakthrough is coming I have the page of wands the page of wands is an opportunity of you know um, to bring you closer to growth closer to you know the passion the purpose and the potential of the page of wands but I also want to say it's associated with good news so this uh, initial conversation or this messenger of opportunity that's going to come in is going to open the door that takes you on a new adventure towards new energy. And I always say the pages bring us the ace of the same suit. You know, we saw the page of swords and then the, the ace of swords came out. And now we've got the nod to the page of wands, which is, you know, a passionate or inspired new beginning of limitless potential that really takes you on a new journey so you're being asked to be curious to be curious to who and and what uh, comes into your life now i've got another number nine here it is the hermit in the major arcana and of course this is virgo season energy and we're actually really close to that uh, end of last week of august we will move into virgo season so i feel that by then you have found at least the first step on this path. It's funny because the hermit is usually depicted as walking along in the darkness, right? And maybe that's how you have felt. Maybe a little bit alone or unsupported in that journey, seeking, searching, doing all the things, taking all the action, but still not being able to find your way. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the lantern finds you know, that little doorway that you see it on those kind of adventure movies or the Indiana Jones where they find the hidden doorway that you can just see the outline. That's the visual that I have. And then you might think, you know what? I've been past there before, but I just didn't see it. So you're going to get an illuminated way is what I am finding here in this reading. And it's going to show you your next part of the journey. Why didn't you see it until now? Because it just wasn't the right time. So that is super exciting. All right. Be seeking, be searching, be looking. This is eyes wide open, right? You're about to pass that doorway and you want to make sure that you see it when you do. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like a personal reading to follow up, please do uh, follow the first link down below. I will link the tarot decks I have used. Also, my other social accounts, really active on TikTok and Instagram for daily readings, um, Pinterest as well. Uh, they are the other platforms I'm very active on. I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started reading the cards and two paid courses as well, an introduction to intuitive tarot that is reading from the heart my way. And then I also have my full foundation course where I teach my professional reading process. I am just sending you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.